welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a very, very exciting video. I got my hands on the new Huda palette. This is the new Nudes palette. I was so surprised when they announced the launch of this palette because she just came out with the little mini palettes and I actually picked up four of the five and then I just bought Topaz during the sale. So yeah, I was kind of surprised that she was coming out with a big eyeshadow palette as well, but of course I just love her eyeshadows so I had to pick it up and I picked it up online on the day the sale started but then I happened to walk into my Sephora which is a Sephora inside JCPenney and they actually had these. I was really shocked because for some reason all the Huda products come to the Sephora inside JCPenney pretty fast which is kind of shocking. I don't know. It seems like one of those brands where they're still not like mainstream whereas I feel like you know Tar, Too Faced, those are the brands that have been around for so long. I feel like my Sephora gets those but the Huda stuff is relatively quick there too and they actually had um, the mini Natasha Denona palettes when I was in there too which I was kind of surprised about. So anyway I just wanted to show you guys the palette and I actually swatched those like fun metallic shades while I was doing this eye look. So let me just show you a little bit of my Huda collection. I use this palette today for the first time. I've had this forever. I actually bought it during a Sephora sale and it arrived broken and Sephora was nice enough to replace the broken item. So I had this and I just never broke into it and I did today and it's uh, this gorgeous highlight I have on. Um, I love her highlighters because I feel like you can layer them and make them really bold or just wear it like this for a more low-key look. I also have her um, Overachiever Concealer. I actually bought another shade of this during the sale because I'm not sure that granola is exactly what I need. I have not decided how I feel about this product yet. I feel like some days it makes my under eyes look amazing, lasts a really long time, then some days I'm like, eh, not the greatest. This is the lip color I'm wearing today. It's called Girlfriend. It's just a nice nude. And I had shown you guys as well while I was doing my lip. Oh, frick. <laughs> while I was picking out a lip color, I have quite a few of her minis. I love that she makes mini sizes of her liquid lipsticks. Just makes things easier for me because I like to collect. And then I also bought a bunch of these lip kits when they came out. Um, this is what the inside looks like. I saved these because this packaging is so adorable and I know she's coming out with new shades but I won't be buying any more because I have too many to begin with and then I have some of her lip liners as well. I don't do a lot of lip liner so the fact that I have these is plenty of proof that I like her formula. Super duper creamy. I have some of her other eyeshadow palettes as well. These are the two rose gold palettes and then here is her desert dust palette. I was really like salty that she did the remastered, but for some reason <laughs> I picked it up anyway because my friend Nethni um, picked up the remastered and she really has been raving about it. So I was like, okay, I need the remastered as well. And then I played with this guy the other day and was reminded why I love my Huda eyeshadows and especially the big ones. And then this is the latest. So I have a lot from her, you guys. I am a big fan. I also love her foundations. I'm constantly talking about those with you guys. I'm sorry I keep turning back, but there's just so much stuff. Really love her baking powder as well as her lash glue. I feel like nobody really talks about this, but to me, this is one of the best lash glues around. I think it is a really nice and adhesive. The only thing I wish is that they made a clear shade because sometimes it gets everywhere and it's tinted black. So it's a little bit rough for amateurs like me, but oh my gosh, her complexion products are great. I just really love that she caters to women with my skin tone. I know she's a bit controversial. Not everyone loves her, but I personally really love and support the brand. So I know you guys are dying to see swatches because I posted a picture of this on my Instagram and everyone told me to, you know, show swatches. I wasn't sure how this palette was going to turn out. I was like, is this going to be really like boring? Because when you see it in person, you're not really sure. It kind of gives me like Laura Lee nudie patootie vibes and those are not the best vibes. But let's go ahead and just swatch. So I'm just going to swatch the special shades too, even though I've already swatched them once. Super duper pretty. So here is the first row. Actually, I have one more shade to swatch, but I only have so many fingers, so 
let's see here. So this is the first color, second color. Oh my God, that champagne is so pretty. Do you guys see that? Okay, so that's the first um, five shadows. In the first row, we have Bear, we have Crave. Crave is so pretty. It's like a champagne pink with like green um, flex and then play is like a peachy uh, crease color. We have fantasy which is like a beautiful pink and then love bite is just like one of my favorite colors to just throw in the crease. And then the last shade in this row is called spanked and I actually have this in my crease today as well. So there's the first row. So gorgeous. Let's go in to the next row here. So we have lace which is the color I started off my look with. We have daydream. Tickle and then two pressed glitters called Excite and Infatuated. So let's see how those all swatch. Ooh. There's the next few. Let me just see if I can get these glitters to do anything else. Probably not. <laughs> But there they are. And then there's a beautiful like satin color called Kinky at the end of this row. Go ahead and swatch that right here for you guys. So pretty. I know there's just something so stunning about this palette. And then there's the concealer base. I'm not going to swatch that. I don't think it has anything to do with the palette's performance. So, and then we'll swatch the last row. We have Secret, Tease, Raw, Charmed, and Teddy. Oops, sorry, I'm <laughs> knocking shit over. I'm gonna swatch that on this hand. Oh my God, so gorgeous. Okay. I did a bad job of swatching as per usual. You guys are used to this by now, right? Like, I'm not trying to be like Instagram swatches here, but here is the first two rows and then this is the last row. And then these are the special shades. I swatched them while I was trying to pick out the lid color. So now that you've seen swatches, I'm gonna go ahead and bounce into how I created this look. Hey, oh my gosh, I am so ready to play with this palette. I walked into my Sephora yesterday randomly just to check it out and they had it, OMG. And I have my pink sweater, have my pink Starbucks mug. Just has water in it because I'm trying to stay hydrated. I have my pink headband. I picked this up from the Alta coupon and I am ready. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Huda New Nudes palette and I'm so excited. I actually ordered this online, but mine won't get here till Tuesday, so I decided to grab one in store. I don't even know where to start. I don't even know where to start, but we're gonna do an eye look. I have most of my base on. I grabbed a bunch of Huda products that are in my collection because I wanna use them on the rest of my face. So let's see how this goes. And here is the packaging, it's like this plastic. It says introducing the Huda Beauty New Nude Eyeshadow Palette. It has fresh take on the nude look, 18 gorgeous shades ranging from cool to warm tones, including 10 buttery mattes that blend seamlessly with your skin, four multi-reflective shadows with a versatile pearly um, to iridescent finish, and then two pressed glitters and one press pearl. Oh, and there's a concealer base, which I forgot about. So yeah, 12 months shelf life. Who's excited? Super duper cute. And here's what it looks like again. So let's see, what do I want to use? Maybe I can use this mirror, perfect. Ooh, this is pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I'm gonna do like a mob look. So let me grab a blending brush. Have some clean brushes in for me. This one from Wet n Wild. Looks like a good crease brush. I'm gonna go in with this light purple shade called Lace. Just gonna tap. It's a little bit dusty, but that's okay. And I'm just gonna place that in my crease and just kind of get messy with it. It's not, doesn't have to be perfect, you know? We're just laying down 
the first color. So I'm just gonna put it in my crease as well as all over my lid. Oh, it's already getting on my base. <laughs> oh well. It's the price you pay for being a cream palette in a um, powder shadow palette. Did I say cream palette? I meant cream shade. Ooh, this color is pretty. I love Huda, you guys. That's why I grabbed all the stuff I have from her. I feel like she has a bad rap, and I get it because I was not really the biggest fan of Huda Beauty either for a long time. Especially after that whole rose gold palette situation, I was like really annoyed. But I love her lip products. I love her foundation so much. I have the Overachiever Concealer. I have a lot of things from her. I have all her eyeshadow palettes. And so, you know, I can't deny a good product. So that's how I feel. I don't know. You know, people are very much part of the boycott cancel movement but I really like how she creates products for people of color so this shade is called spanked I'm gonna put that next to my crease I'm gonna again oh my god that shade is so pretty I live for pinky purple shades wow do you guys see that oh my goodness I'm putting that in my crease as well I feel like it looks so dark in my room. Welcome to winter in North Dakota, you guys. It's like dark till like 10 and then it's light for a little bit and then it's dark again at like four. Okay, next I'm gonna go into the shade Love Bite and I'm gonna put that in the last like corner part here of my, or the outer portion, that's what it's called, of my crease, just to like deepen it up a little bit. This is going to be an amazing everyday palette for somebody out there. I love... It is it is like, I won't call it a new nudes. I would just say it's just a fun berry palette. And I'm really into berries. You guys know this about me. So... Okay, so I've got a nice base down. And I'm just going to blend everything in the crease. And that should be good there. Yeah, just kind of keeping it simple. Now for the fun part, which shade to use? Do I do glitter or do I do one of these metallic shades? <sighs> Let's swatch them, see what they feel like. Ooh. Oh my gosh. Seriously? Wow, I've seen people do this, but I can't comprehend what's happening when they show it. Wow. These are so pretty. Oh my god, do you guys see that? So metallic. Holy crap. Oh my goodness. Okay, which shade? I wonder if I can apply it with a brush. I need to try it with a brush. Oh, and they have like a gold duochrome vibe. Oh my god, I'm in heaven right now. I am in, I have died, and I have gone to the heavens. I need to have a brush cleaning day because my brushes are already dirty. Okay, I'm going to go in with Daydream. Okay, so it's not picking up on the brush. So let me just go in with my finger and press that on. Oh my goodness. That is so pretty. Everyone has been saying such good things about this palette. And I can see why. Wow. There's a little bit of fallout I'm getting. Um... These are like liquid metals. Wowie. Wow. Oh. 
Okay. What do we think? I think less is more, so I'm just going to stop because I always feel like the more you try to complicate one of these looks, it just makes it worse. So I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to blend out the anything that... Um, and then I just want to pop the shade bare into my brow bone, just like the nude shade right here. Just a little highlight. Ta-da! Keeping it simple. Okay. Love! And then I'm going to finish this eye look and be right back. Okay guys, so I did put mascara on. I did mess up my eyes a little bit, but I'm just gonna wait for that to dry before I try to fix it up. And then I wanted to do my lips while my mascara dries. I do wanna show you guys, I do have some of the Huda lip pencils, and I really like these. They are so, so creamy, and I have four shades. So I have Muse, I have Trophy Wife, I have the shade Trendsetter, and then Vixen so creamy. So I think I'm going to go in with the shade Trendsetter. It's a nice nude and I have some lip gloss on or lip balm. I have some lip balm on because my lips are so chat <laughs> and I don't really do the lip liner thing enough to be honest. <laughs> mm, uh oh, see, I just went outside my lip line. Yeah. Trendsetter is a nice nude shade. You can kind of see it on my lips already, but these are so creamy. I love them so much, and I don't talk about them enough on my channel, so I had to tell you about those. And then for her liquid lipsticks, as you can see, this is my little mini army of hers. I love that she has mini sizes because I'm never going to get through a whole lipstick. So I have so many different colors. Spice Girl. Um, we have Wifey. I bought like a whole nude set flirt. Um, yeah, I just have so many different colors. Bombshell. This one is called Crush. So I'm just going to grab Girlfriend, which looks like a good nude. I don't even know what half these colors actually look like because I have so many of them. So I'm just going to put this on. It's like a nice warm brown. And it does go perfectly with the Trendsetter lip liner. I don't usually ever like overdo my lips, but it kind of happened accidentally today. And then I want to put highlight on, but let me fix my eye quick. Just fix stuff with Q-tips. You want to wait until it dries. That's usually the hardest part is waiting for something to dry. Because um, it's easier to like flick them off versus when it's wet, it kind of gets everywhere. So I managed to get it all off with Q-tips. So throw that in the trash. And then the last step is highlighter. And then I'm going to fix my hair and come back and show you guys the final look. So she does have a bunch of different highlighters as well. I only have one of her highlighting palettes and I have to confess, I haven't really given this a good shot at all. But I originally got this during one of the Sephora sales and mine arrived like completely shattered. So Sephora sent me a new one, Golden Sands Edition. As you can see, it's brand new. Haven't even dug into it. I'm gonna go in to the shade Seashells because that looks like a golden color. And we're just gonna hit the high points right here. I'm just trying to look in my mirror. Oh my God. This is beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna stop while I'm ahead because otherwise I'll put way too much on. And I'll be right back to show you guys the final look. Guys, here is the finished look. I was gonna straighten my hair, but honestly, it's Sunday and I really don't need to. So you're just gonna get my, I brushed it, so you're welcome. <laughs> but yeah, this is the look I created using almost all of my Huda products and the new Nudes eyeshadow palette. So, 
definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. Okay, you guys, you saw the swatches, you saw how I created a look with this palette. Overall, first impressions, I love the palette. I'm so glad I picked it up, and I'm so glad I was able to get it on sale. So if you have a chance to take advantage of the Sephora sale, definitely go ahead and grab it now before you have to spend full price on it, which I don't know why you would do that. I think if you are my skin tone or even deeper, you will still be able to rock these shades, and I just think it's a fun palette overall, something different. I definitely feel like it is giving me like the Laura Lee palette vibes, so I'm glad I never bought that palette and I bought this one. I feel like this one friendly to my skin tone because I know Shay Makeup Struggles had the Laura Lee palette and she ended up I think like decluttering the whole thing except like one shade. She like depotted it and gave the rest away. So yeah, I feel like this one is definitely more of a hit compared to that one. That's the one that just comes to mind. But anyway, I love the palette. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, so I'm gonna get off. But let me know what you guys think and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.